Hi, I'm Paul Davidoff. I've been looking at some of Matt Parker's very interesting and quite funny explanations of maths problems. And one of the ones I've been looking at is the A4 paper puzzle. And you can find that by searching on YouTube with a very good explanation of how it works, or rather how you start the puzzle. I've seen quite a few solutions, most of them involve working out um, some lengthy sum involving various appearances of this wonderful figure here, root 2. But I'm going to show you that it's actually going to be much simpler than that, and that anyone with slightest understanding of Pythagoras and a mirror can work this out really quite easily. I know the explanation might be a few minutes long, but when you follow it through, you'll see quite how simple it is. So very simply, the idea is a four piece of paper is in the proportions of one to root two. One to root two. Root two is something like 1.4, something or other. Not terribly important for the moment. I'll leave that over there, just in shot. Okay, so the idea is you have your piece of paper, you fold the corner over nicely here and there, and you have to work out what the perimeter is. If you want a more detailed explanation, please look at Matt Parker's explanation of it. So, um, there are two things you need to know. I'm going to shuffle around in the mirror. Um, so, you have a triangle like that, right angle triangle, 45 degree angles. Here's one I prepared earlier. You're going to flip it like that. It's the same triangle, it's just the other way, other way up. This length here is the same as this length here. Right. Pythagoras. Right angle triangle, this side is x, this side is y. The longer side is calculated as follows. x squared plus y squared is z squared. x plus y squared is z squared. If x and y are both 1, you work it out as 1 squared plus 1 squared equals 2. So z equals z equals the square root of 2. So coming back to the puzzle, here we go. We're going to work it out in three stages. This length is the end of the page. We know it's 1. We're going to fold it over. So we already know to there we've got one. Perimeter length, one, up to this point. What about the next bit? Well, we know that this side, the length is one. Length is one, it's one. X plus Y, X plus Y, however long these are, they equal one. Fold that over. X plus Y is one, so along there, along there. But frankly, we know that that's x as well, so from there to here, from here to here, is also 1. I'm just rushing because my battery is running out, so we've got 1 plus 1. What about the last bit? The last bit we're going to work out from here all the way around this corner to there in one go. Now, do you remember what I said about the triangle at the beginning? We're going to flip. Instead of flipping this way, we're going to flip upwards. It's going to give us a triangle that looks like that. We already know that the bottom line, shuffle the camera back, the bottom line here is root 2. Remember, that's the full width of the piece of paper, it's root 2. But we also know it equals 1 plus x. Now we know that this length, all the way up to this top corner now, is the same length. It's 1 plus another x. So this side is root 2. So we've got root 2 down the bottom and root 2 up the side of a right angle triangle. So this side must be, well, square of root 2 plus the square of root 2, square of root 2 plus the square of root 2. Come on, the square of root 2 is 2, square of root 2 is 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. So the square of this side is 4. And I think you know what the square root of 4 is. 2. 
So because we know that from there all the way down to here is two. But also if we flipped it over, this is the same length from here to here to here as from here to here to here. So how long is the perimeter of this wonderful shape? One plus one plus two. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't understand anything, please post a comment. Thank you.